Hi, this is Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com and today I'm going to show you how to use the black and white adjustment layer in Photoshop. Theme tune. Okay, so Photoshop is amazing at doing black and white images, but if you're going to do a full black and white edit, you might actually use different layers and things. I'm just going to show you the adjustment layer that converts it into black and white and how really powerful that is. Now remember, this is part of my Photoshop tutorial training course. If you want the rest of it, then it's here on YouTube or it's over on photosincolor.com and you can download all of the project files from the website so you can work along with me. Anyway, let's jump into Photoshop and have a look. So we're going to be using this photograph today. And the black and white, essentially, it's up here in the adjustment layers. Now you can click on it like this, and as soon as you click on it, it's going to convert it to black and white. You can also find it down here, in, um, using this little circle with a line through it. And if you don't see any of this, you just have to go Window and select Adjustments. That's it. So, here we are, we've now converted it to black and white. Before and then black and white. I'm just using a little eye there to turn that on and off. So essentially this is how it works. It automatically gives you these which are the basic settings and essentially it split it all up into six different colors. Reds, yellows, greens, um, cyans, blues and magentas. And what you can do is essentially manipulate each one of those colors from the color version of this image. So for example, Skin tones lives in the red, so we could make the skin tones lighter, like so, and you can see it just lightens it up. Or I can make the skin tones darker, and essentially I've really made it dark um, there, which is quite amazing. And then let's have a look, for example, at the, let's look at something else. We've got the blue at the top here, so we'll make it black and white again, and that lives not actually within blues, but within cyans. So we can see here, I can make it nice and dark, or nice and light, and that's also, her pants or trousers are also within that range too. And then let's have a look, for example, all of the grass and everything here lives within the yellows, so I can change all of those elements. So for example, I can make my yellows, my greens, my cyans and my blues down, and I could lift up my skin tone. So ruined the image, but you can see essentially the power that I have within that. So let's reset this and let's have a look at a few more options that we have. One other thing we have is auto. So you click auto and it's going to do an, it's going to analyze the, the image. It's going to give you some example settings. It usually does a pretty good job, but it's never particularly very dramatic. So then you also at the top here, you have a number of presets. And I have to say, these presets are superb. I don't like presets in a lot of things in light, in Photoshop, but these are great. So darker, um, blue filters really, really great. Add some great drama, as is the red filter. Okay, it kind of flips it the other way around. Really, really nice. And then you've got some other ones. You've got lighter and infrared. And I would really recommend having a look through. Now, what's really great about this is it can help you see what different effects you can create so that you can then go through yourself and create these in the future. So let's again reset this. So remember your presets live up here. Now the other, you've got two more options up here. One is this hand. Remember this has appeared in lots of the different settings here. Now essentially, wherever you click on the image up here, it's looking at the colors, not at the um, highlights, shadows, and midtones. Remember it doesn't do that inside black and white. It's looking at the actual colors of the foundation image. So for example, it's looking at the blues, the greens, and the skin tones inside this one. So for example, let's have a look at the greens that live over here and in the grass. So if I select the greens in the grass and move it, you can see it's only affecting the yellow slider, which is where those colors all live. Or I can use the skin tones, and it's just gonna be the red slider, which is where those live. Or up here, the blues, which is where that goes, and that's all by selecting in the image. So if you're not sure where a color is and you wanna make this area darker, well, you can just use that and it's gonna help you out, which is massively powerful. Now, the final thing that we have within this is tint. Now, what this essentially does is it adds a color over the top. 
I wouldn't personally use this here. This is obviously sepia tone or sepia tone. I would actually add that on another layer on top, but it is great to give you an example of what it might look like. And you could, for example, throw in a blue one onto that um, if you wanted to make it a little bit more retro, a nice purple filter, well, pinky purple like this makes it quite retro, all sorts of different things that you could do. I, again, wouldn't particularly use it. Now, there's a few other things that, that don't forget that you can use black and white for. It's not only about making an image black and white. What you could also do, for example, let's bring back the sky and all those things. What you could essentially do is turn down the opacity. Now, what you've now done is you've essentially used this as a desaturation layer. But what you can do within this, you see, is you can still affect different elements but I'm just using it within the black and white filter so you can see how powerful this really is. So I can make her pants really, really bright and I can bring her skin tones all the way down. And that was essentially using the black and white filter to overlay it on top of the color. And we can invert that to do something completely different. Now, imagine we've got this set up. Another thing to remember that you can use it for is you could then add a layer style to this. So I could, for example, lighten works really well and let's make it 100%. Okay, so this has actually changed the color now. Overlay, so you see now it's created this really dark and moody image and I can go in again and I can change how this looks and now it's kind of changing the saturation of different elements by using this black and white filter. And Multiply is another really, really good one to use within this or um, darken even. So you can see very different effects that you can create using the black and white filter. And look at that, there's 100%. We've completely changed essentially what this image is looking like. So let's actually pull all of this back and let's boost up these greens and look at how different an image, it's going all crazy and grungy, I don't quite know what I'm doing to this image. But you can see, using the black and white filter, you can do a lot with an image. But remember, the main thing, leave it in normal, and then you can edit an image. So let me edit this image for you now, and let's create something nice from this. So I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna pull back my skin tones, essentially makes her look like she's got more of a tan, and then I actually want to lift up my greens and yellows. Let's pull back the sky and make it a little bit more moody, okay? And that for me, magentas, there aren't any in this image really. That for me is a nice black and white image. Um, I'm gonna go like this and what I would do, we've already used these, but I'm gonna use this layer just here and I'm gonna add a little bit of contrast to this image as well. Like so, for me, that is a really great black and white image. Let's look at the before option and click on this little eye. It's going to unselect everything else. Great, great image. So that there is how to convert an image to black and white in Photoshop and make your images look absolutely amazing. Now, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and please subscribe as I have loads more videos coming in the future. If you want this image or you want to work along with me and get all of the other Photoshop tutorials, head over to photosincolor.com. The link is in the description and you can get all of that stuff. Anyway, this was Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com theme tune. Boop, 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 boop.